I mean, this is a company that wants to revolutionize the loudspeaker industry in the next five years. And right now, they currently won't put a product out unless they believe it is the very best driver at that particular size. I mean, it's pretty impressive when you think about it. They use all high-end materials, and you can just see it when you look at the drivers. So why haven't you heard of Cartesian Acoustics? Cartesian Acoustics might be new to you, and it's actually new to the DIY community, but it's not new to the loudspeaker community. Cartesian Acoustics has been in the industry for over 10 years and has over 13 patents on both loudspeakers and DSP. Most people won't know of them because they have sold exclusively to high-end boutique speakers. Now, when I say sells to them, I should really clarify, they don't just sell speaker drivers, they actually do everything in house from the engineering to the designing to the building and then of course the selling. Everything is done through Cartesian Acoustics. That is pretty impressive. And when I say high-end boutique speakers, I just wanna make sure that we understand. I'm not talking about the speakers you're gonna go find in your big box store. I'm talking about the speakers that you're gonna be finding at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest and all those other high-end festivals where these speakers can cost well, more than your house sometimes. These are the products that Cartesian Acoustics has designed and they're willing to sell them to you now. That should get you pretty excited. I know it's gotten me excited. So what makes Cartesian Acoustics a little bit different than just any other manufacturer? Well, I got to sit down with the owner and founder of Cartesian Acoustics, Clement, and I asked him just that question and he had quite a lot to say. But Clemon's main concern with loudspeaker industry right now is that it's oversaturated. There's just too many people designing loudspeakers and they're all designing basically the same thing and it really hasn't changed that much in the past even 20 years. So Clemon has decided to set a goal for him and his company to revolutionize the way that we listen to speakers within the next five years. Now he's accomplishing that by making sure that quality matters. This is a guy that's willing to put more money into engineering and machining to make sure that the end product is what you expect. In fact, when I talked to him, I asked him, why aren't we seeing a lot of products from Cartesian right now? And he said, simply, he doesn't believe that all the drivers that he can sell are the best on the market and he doesn't want to sell anything unless he feels like it's the best at that size. It's pretty impressive. And when you take a look at what he means by machining and engineering, take a look at this four inch subwoofer he sent me. This four inch subwoofer is beautiful. It's a double magnet. It's got true carbon fiber cone and it even has a custom spider designed by them to keep CMS flat at full excursion. And all in all, it looks like a beautifully designed and high-end material subwoofer. In fact, it's designed and engineered so well that you could actually use this in a two-way audio system if you look at its frequency response. It's just crazy when you think about it. But I asked Clemon the most important thing is, you know, even if you design this and it, it is a beautifully designed driver, how can you guarantee that the driver I get is going to be the same driver that someone else gets? Or basically said differently, how are you going to be able to keep your quality control the same? He's not about just pushing out volume, but he's about pushing out high quality products. And the way that he does that is he sets a jig up for every part of the speaker. Now, if you take a look at a speaker exploded, you're going to see that there's a lot of parts that go in there he'll only glue in one part at a time. So he'll glue in one assembly, then the next, then the next, then the next. Now, as you can imagine, that's a little bit more time consuming. Okay, what are we joking? It's a whole lot more time consuming, but he's willing to do that to make sure that everything's lined up perfectly and the driver that you get is the same driver that I get. You can start to see why high-end boutique manufacturers really started going to them for their drivers. Everything at Cartesian is all about the details and you can just tell that just by taking a look at their name. If you take a look at Cartesian, you're gonna notice a period before the name Cartesian. But I asked him about these details and he said, look, the reason why the period's there is because details matter. And here we take that very seriously. So we put that period there to remind us that that detail matters every day. In fact, I ask each and every one of my employees to change one thing every day and make that just a little bit better than the day before. And he requires all of his employees to do that every day so that the company itself and the individual can become better. 
It's pretty interesting when you take a look at Cartesian Acoustics because they also start looking at drivers a little bit differently. The more you look at their website, the more you're gonna see their innovation. And what I find interesting is some of their PA drivers that they sell. Yes, they do sell PA drivers as well as iFi drivers and even some car audio drivers as well. But the PA driver is what really interested me. They make a compression driver that goes all the way down to 700 Hertz. That's really amazing. So I talked to Clemone about this and asked him, how is that really possible to be able to have it go down that low with a 0.5% distortion? It just doesn't seem like that should be capable of doing that. He said that the way that they designed that is they actually lowered the sensitivity some so that they could extend the range all the way up to 20 kilohertz, which is impressive for a compression driver, and then all the way down to 700 hertz. Now, typically you need something like a compression coaxial to do that. So the fact that they were able to do it with just a compression driver, well, that's pretty impressive. And I'm starting to really enjoy the innovation and I'm enjoying how he looks at the drivers just a little bit different than some of the other manufacturers. Now you're probably wondering what my personal feeling is on Cartesian Acoustics. Now truthfully, I really haven't got a chance to play with a lot of their drivers yet, but I do have some for some projects. They sent me over some two inch full range drivers, which I'm gonna do a really cool project with, and they sent me two of those subwoofers. Now I'll go ahead and review both of those on the channel when I do the builds. I think you're gonna like the particular builds. And when I do that, I'm also gonna be able to tell you what I personally believe and think about Cartesian Acoustics. Now, some of you guys might want to know a little bit more about Clemon and Cartesian Acoustics. If you want to do that, this Saturday, March 13th at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, I'm going to go live. Now, I put a link down in the description. Just click on that and set yourself a reminder. While we're live, you can ask him as many questions as you want about Cartesian, but mainly we're going to be talking about non-linearity in speakers. So if you're being interested about that non-linearity in drivers, this is going to be a good topic for you. You'll get to also learn a little bit more about how his mind thinks, which I think will give you a little bit better understanding of who he is. And I think, hopefully, we're gonna keep that about an hour, but honestly, when I talked to Clemon the first time, once he gets started talking speakers and drivers, he goes on for a while, because he loves it. And I love that about him. And that's one of the things that gets me excited about Cartesian Acoustics. Now, I look forward to putting those videos out for you guys, and I hope that you guys look forward to watching those. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, make sure to ring that bell so you get instant notification when those videos come out. All right, guys, this is Toyd's DIY Audio, and I'm out. So you're probably wondering what I got going on on the channel, and I got quite a few things. You know, I already talked about Cartesian Acoustics. I'm really excited about those builds. I have a cool guitar amplifier that I've never done before. It's taken a little bit longer than I thought because, well, I'm nervous about it because I've never done it before. But I think it's turning out really good. I also have the Boombox build-off. If you haven't seen it, me, DIY Audio Guy, Hi-Fly Vega, we're doing a Boombox build-off with some parts that Parts Express sent us. So yeah, I'm excited about winning that. That's gonna go live on the 22nd. It's gonna be live on my channel. We're gonna go ahead and reveal those. Although we'll reveal them the day before on Sunday. So make sure that you've watched the video and you get to vote too. We're gonna do a People's Choice Award. So you guys get to decide whose is the best. If you don't vote for me, well, I might be a little sad, but I really just want whoever is the most deserving of it to win. And although I'm not gonna lie, I hope I win. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for today, and I can't wait to talk to you guys later. See you in the next video. I'm out for real.